Hello, 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 and welcome back to Gomer Plays Earthbound! Last time we took out Master Belch. After I don't know how many tries. Oh god. You saw only like one try. For me it was like three or four because, well, the computer wanted to be a sudden little dick. Ah, but I, I am very glad that it's over. Hi, how you doing? Oh, I still have to fight you. Violent Roach. Oh, whoa! You solidified a body by spreading your wings. Okay, that's a weird one. But at least we have some experience. And it's only one, so it's not so bad. Uh, so right now we're heading to three, getting ready to go to four side. Because I don't think there's anything left to do here. Hello, Mr. Violent Roach. Ow. <laughs> Boom. There you go. Bye-bye. Ah, so what are we going to do in Foresight? I don't know. I'm pretty sure at some point I'm going to run into poo. Ah, hopefully soon. All right, let's go. Back to Threed. Because I don't think there's anything else left to do around here, so let's go to Threed. Hi. Okay. Red Antoid and its cohorts. Well, I'm just going to shoot the plain crocodile, set the Antoids on fire, and Jeff do the same. Kaboom! Burn, baby, burn! <laughs> ah, how did you miss that? Ow! I ah, just shoot the damn thing. I said shoot it. Thank you. Boop, bye. Yay! We got a level up for Paula. <laughs> Ooh. PSI Shield Sigma. Ooh. Hey, guys. You want to play? Want to play with me? We'll set you on fire, you know. I mean, we'll, we'll just do that. I mean, it, it's it's no never mind to me. Yeah, good use of double negative there. You know, because I don't mind setting you on fire. You know, burning the ants is fun. You know, that was actually one of the things I've never, I never did as a kid. I never set ants on fire with a magnifying glass. Huh. You know, which means I, which also means that I never accidentally set myself on fire. Set myself on fire by way of magnifying lens. Uh, I never, well, obviously I never did. Um, I don't know anybody personally who did, but uh, if you listen to enough Bill Ingvall. <laughs> uh, boom! Yeah, freeze, asshole. Yay! Oh yeah, and Paula now has PSI Magnet, oh, I think it's Omega. So now she can just drain it from everybody if she needs it. Hello! Uh, Ness, I'm gonna... I can be a little bit more conservative with the PSI now. Freeze, asshole! <laughs> I love that. Ah! Oh, lordy. Hey, come here. Even though she has the PSI Magnet Omega, magic butterflies are always cool. And back through we go. Ah, <sighs> Spookular. Okay. Master Belch is done for, so uh, we can, like, go back and, like, talk to people at Threed. And maybe check out zombies and shit. Whee! Maybe not zombies, but... You know, the zombies in the tent, I wonder if they're still there. Are they, are they like, decayed? Are they, like, just gonna sit there being all pitiful on the ground? We'll have to find out, I suppose. Ah, uh, are there going to be any zombies and ghosts running around there anyway now, considering Master Belch is gone? Oh, wow. A lot of it is gone. Hello. Hey, folks. I really didn't think those kids could have saved the town. Who would have ever imagined it? Well, thank you for bringing peace and happiness back to three. Thanks. Peace. Love. I won't forget you. Won't you come back to three sometime? Since the leader of the monsters is gone, the ghosts in the tunnel have disappeared. Buses can get through the tunnel now. Yay! What's in here? Insecticide spray. Good. Hey, dude. How you doing? Alrighty. <laughs> so we're no longer spooky. Yay! 
want to go through the desert and on to the big city. I want to see the city and want to smell like the big city. I'm a real urban type of guy. I know how you feel, dude. Thank you. Sweet. <laughs> You're heroes. That rocks. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? We're heroes, man. Hey, how you doing, dude? This town used to be dark, but thanks to you, now it's bright. Yay! I'm gonna run all over to escape the zombies. And I can't remember where my house is. Oh. Oh. Really? Uh, really? Right now? Really? Ah, oh, well. It's a victory lap. Why not? Look at the cameras. Ready? Say fuzzy pickles. Fuzzy nipples! What, you never seen fuzzy nipples? Oh, wait. The drink is fuzzy navel. Oh. They need a drink named Fuzzy Nipples. That would be kind of fun. The town is at peace, but my wife and kids won't speak to me. What's the problem? Um, when was the last time you saw them? Monsters are no longer in the tunnel. Yay! Really quite peaceful compared to before. How about you? I can sleep again. It's like you used a bunch of peace paper, right? <laughs> now you can go through the tunnel anytime you want. Hooray! That round flying object. A kid with glasses was on board. That craft landed near the graveyard, right? Can you fix it? Uh, I think. It's heavily damaged though, right? Uh, I'd like to be able to fix it, fix it at some point. So there's a hint. I, I like to think we could fix that t that spaceship that Jeff rode in on. Let's go check it out. Maybe we'll have to wait till later, but... Uh, don't enter. Well... Ah, uh, what the fuck? I've been out there for a long time. No. Go away. Go away, this is a video game. Only thing I have to worry about is Ness getting homesick. Ugh. I mean, who thought it was a good idea to make the main character get homesick every now and then? Don't get me wrong, at least I, at least from what I understand it's rare, but still, man. It's impossible to fix for the time being. Ugh. Can you, can you imagine, like, can you... I, I still find it hard to believe that when I first got jacked there a couple of videos ago, I thought that was like a mindscape or something. No, they just threw me in a hole. Because why not? Yeah. Oh well. But then again, this is pretty much blind, mostly. So, you know, figuring things out as you go. If you miss a nice cozy bed, walk to the west. We're right there. The Three Sunset Hotel. Who are you? So glad you wiped out the zombies. Let me give you a kiss. Mwah! I'm blushing. <laughs> Go Ness. Visit three again. Yay! Hey, what are you doing, dude? Finally, we can breathe deep. Breathe deep the outside air. Now that the zombies are gone. <coughs> ah, the outdoors are so refreshing. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, kids, how you doing? Whoa, dude, like, my old girlfriend from Tucson hunted me down, man. Don't be bummed, because I have another girlfriend here in three. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Ah, check him out. I think he's the bee's knees. Oops, I mean, way cool. We used to be in a band. Um. Oh, dear. Yeah. What do we, what's in here? Skip sandwich. Um. Hey, how you doing, dude? Bus stop at the hotel all the way to Foreside. Uh, is how much? Do you remember? No. But I have over $2,000. <laughs> I think I can afford it no matter what it is. Let's do it. Let's see if I can't take the bus to Foreside. Uh, hotel's over here, right? Hi! Then the bus is trying to run me over. <laughs> okay, bus stop. Looks like the next bus will come pretty soon. Yay! That bus just hit me. Bus goes to Foresight. Yes. Let's go. Six dollars six dollars for, for a bus fare. Holy shit, that's mega bus prices. Ah. You know what Megabus needs to do? They need to extend a little bit further south into like southeast Alabama and the Florida Panhandle. Just saying. <clears throat> Hey, it's a desert. Maybe. Oh, getting desert-like. 
You know, I think the Rangoons used this song at the end of one of their videos. Hey! Drugs! A sign for drugs! Yay! Hi! Man, it's bumper to bumper! My job is to drive so I can't get off the bus. It's up to you if you want to get up the off the bus and walk around in the desert. Hey, it's a free country. Oh, shit. Uh, man, do I need to go? I'll just squat! I'm sorry for the guys behind me, but I'm so bent. I'm leaving my car here and walking instead. Why would you do that? It'll be a hundred years by the time I get... Oh, goddamn. I that a little ways ahead is a herd of buffaloes running across the road. I can't move an inch. Oh, lordy. Buffalo? Uh, so hey, a drugstore. Oh, we're getting sweaty and hot. Hi. Hello there. How may I help you? Uh, what, what, do we, what can we get? Wet towels. So apparently, yeah, yeah, we can get wet towels, um, lucky sandwich, can of fruit juice, picnic lunches. Can I get you anything else? No. What about you? Mr. Baseball Bat. Ooh, thick frying pan deluxe. Coin of slumber. I'm gonna get Mr. Baseball Bat. Uh, can Ness carry it? Shit! I'll have to give it to Jeff. No, I'll just give it to Jeff, and Jeff can do the thing, damn it. You know what, Jeff? You're, you are getting... You're getting this. And then Jeff, you're giving me that damn baseball bat. Uh, give it to Ness. And we gotta equip it manually, because meh. Ooh, I am liking the offensive increase. Sweet. Okay. Hello. What do you want to sell? I want to sell you my bionic sling slingshot. Yay. No, not right now. So, how, what do you have to say? We're also running an inn, mister. It's 210 at night if you want to stay here. Ah, eh, sure, why not? Where's the bed? I want to deposit what money I've got right now. Let's see. Yep, all money. Bye bye. I have no cash. That is actually one of the good things about this game is the fact that um is that you don't get your money right away. You have to actually. Oh hey, they're running away. You're running away from me. Hi. Does it mean I'll beat you in one hit? No. A mole playing rough, and he was running from me. <laughs> Paula took him out with one physical attack. That's how weak it is. Wow. Okay. Hey, a monkey. He's a monkey. Hey, how you doing? Welcome. Paradise exists beneath that hole. Talarama is great and kind. And he knows everything Talarama does. He made us the underground rooms. Okay, let's go in here. It's too hot. But at least it's a dry heat. Oh, hi? At least these guys weren't ready. Uh, you know what? You get to burn today. Let me burn these plants out of here for you. Boom. Boom. Oh yeah. I like that. 29. Nice. No problem here. Talarama's now fasting and practicing silent meditation. He's also abstaining from anything that would make him sick or smelly too. Please don't bother him. I'll bother him. Bother, bother, bother. Bother, bother, bother. Okay, so he's in the way. Standing from anything that would make him sick or smelly. Huh. Hey, look at that. A surprise opening attack. I like it. So we'll set him on fire. You, we know the drill, right, folks? We set him on fire. And when, if that doesn't work, we shoot and beat the shit out of him. That's how it works, right? Whee! Oh, hey! Oh, baby! Oh, 
Oh yeah. I like those increases. <laughs> okay, so I can't exactly go down there yet. Oh, UFO. Oh shit. And I'm losing HP. That's not good. Sunstrokes. It's cute little UFO. Oh. Oh, I'm just gonna have to set. I'm just gonna have to thunderize him. Ow. Boom! Hello! Well, that works. Okay, they got sunstroke. We kind of need to... Fresh egg. <laughs> so we have a fresh egg. Okay. We also have sunstroke. That's not necessarily a good thing. Double burger. Ooh! Double burger. Can I not drink the water, or is that water? How are you out here? Okay. Annoying kids. What a group of brats. Scat you little monsters. Shut the fuck. Hi. Confront the cute little UFO. Well, I'm just gonna shoot and bash it and beat the shit out of it. Boom. Goodbye. Yay! A cookie. <laughs> you left me a cookie. How sweet. No, you don't. Ah, how are we doing on on that? Ah, how do I get rid of that? Ow. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> ah. Into the desert. Let's get to this. Let's skip sandwich DX. Okay. Um, life up, Paula. There we go. Oh, a buffalo. Maybe beefalo? I don't know. And I can outrun him. Fuck you. This is not good. And I get rid of Sunstroke. Ah! It's got too much stuff. Damn it. Damn it, Jeff. Okay. Um, uh, use it on this. Big bottle rocket. Give it to Jeff. There you go. Okay. Hi. What is this? Dusty Dunes headquarters for finding buried gold. Okay. Let's go. It's a small house, but please stay the night. Hey! Recovery! <laughs> and I noticed something about the skip sandwich. Also, um... Uh, oh, oh, oh. Wait, 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 wait. We still have sunstroke. Okay. Hold on a second. Can I heal this? Yay! Good! Oh ho 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 ho! Good, I can heal it. Okay, so... Stay the night again to re recover that... that psy, psy point. And then we'll save, because we really should. 1570, that's not bad. Eh, uh, we want to record our... yeah, we get the, we get the drill by now, right? Yeah, I am not going to sleep. I'm out in the middle of the desert. Do you think I'm going to be like those fuckers out there in, in their bathing suits sunbathing in the fucking desert? This hole's great. Good hole. Good hole. Good hole. First, someone asked me to dig for buried gold. I'm getting to feel like I was obligated to find it. Man, am I starving. Do you have any food you can spare? Sure. What are you going to give me? Um... I can give you... Um... I can give you cookie. I'm not gonna give him a cookie. I'll give him a skip sandwich. If I find the gold, I'll give it to you. Okay, good. Uh, nobody has sunstroked yet. Good. Uh, no problem. Anything in here? Nope, just apparently a way to get out of the sun. So, nothing there, at least not yet. Okay. We do have to worry about sunstroke, but at least I can heal it. And that's a good thing. Hey, water! 
Can we just jump in the water? Come on. A sudden guts pill. Ooh, nice. Hi. Hello, Mr. Scorpion thing. Or what is it? Skelpion? A skeletonized scorpion? Oh, what the fuck? Wow! That was a huge hit. If it hit someone else, they probably would have been killed. Alright, let's go north. What's up here? Nothing. Nope, no sunstroke yet. Um, hey, an oasis. Hey, hey guy, how you doing? Now, you're not gonna critical on me, are you? Oh shit, ow! That hurt. These guys have thunder magic. That can't be good. Hi! Um, Desert Wolf and its cohort. Oh dear. Um, you know what? Freeze your asses. And I'll spy. You're in the desert. That should do. Oh, wow. Offense 64 to vulnerable to fire and paralysis. <laughs> well, you know what? I could set it on fire. Nice. Boom. There you go. Who who knew? Set it, you know. You get you get instant buffalo instant cooked buffalo meat. There you go. You know, I mean Do people even eat buffalo meat? Oh. Okay. Desert. Yeah, that's what this is. It's a desert. Let's see if we can go any further south. Oh hey look. What the hell is that? Oh hey, the tunnel. Okay, let's go. Into the tunnel! Yeah, I'm not leaving the car there, so I'm not worried about it. No enemies? Okay then. Oh hey, did I make it? What the hell is that sound? Made it to four side. Ah. So we've made it. Fuck the bus. Oh. The big city. The city foresight has developed quite a bit since Mr. Gelgard Montoli hit the big time. It's been good for the city. Good. A oh, motel hotel here. Let's save here. I don't know what that beeping is. Is that in the game? Yes, sir. Are you staying here tonight? Thanks for being so generous with your tips. Never give me a tip? Never mind. I just got here! Uh, may as well throw, withdraw a couple thousand. Well, three thousand. There we go. And... 225, Jeebus. Ah. Uh. The laser gun. Ooh! I have a I has a laser gun. Let's equip it. Um Damn, look at that. Yeah. Go Jeff. We have a laser gun, a laser gun, a laser gun. Jeff has laser gun. And never oh, oh, I was gonna give you one. But, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, save, save the game. Uh, I, am not, I am not sleeping here, sir. Uh, I do need Escargo Express. Big bro, it's me, Tracy. I'm working part-time for Escargo. Um, pick up. Yeah, let's, let's store some stuff with Escargo Express. Because from what I understand, there's stuff that I don't need. 
right now. Whee! Um, I don't like the look of that face. But let's do this. Yeah, I can cover that. Take up three things. First of all, this jar of fly honey. So I won't need that. Um, chicken! Where the hell did I get chicken? I don't know, but you can take the protractor. Uh, and something from Paula's, maybe? Um, not the Franklin badge. Um, backstage pass. Yeah, well, you can take those. Meanwhile, hi! You are a creepy blue face smiley person. You meet the extra cranky lady! Really? We, we got beat up on this lady? Are we really gonna do this? Yes, we are. A continuous attack. Ow! Holy shit! That lady? Turn back to normal. <laughs> like, you little shit! Whoa, 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 whoa! I don't understand where that... Why that noise is coming out. Uh, planning meeting for Earthbound 2. Only those who are related to this project are allowed to enter. <laughs> oh. I bet you in the original it was probably like Mother 3 or something. Oh, wow. This could get confusing. And isn't that why we have a handy map? Oh, yeah. Look at that. I heard a guy that looks like... Montoli has been hanging out in Jackie's Cafe, you know, the totally unpopular place. Pretty quietly goes in and out. There's lots of junk like this bulletin board at the, at the junk shop busted up. Back alley of the department store. Okay, so where are we at? The department store is over there. Okay. So what we do is we just go over here. What is that beeping? Boys doing anything, I'll arrest you. No questions asked. Be prepared. Got it, Ness? Ha ha ha. I've already checked out your name. Okay. Department store, here we are. Oh, the department store is closed. Really? Montoli be this begin to have strange happen Oh my. Strange happenings, huh? Hmm. Last night there was a solitaire tournament. I lost my shirt. I'll invite you next time. Hey, wait, do you even know what solitaire is? Yes, it's on every Windows system known to man. I'm an elite businessman who works in Mr. Montoli's office. Monotoli's office. Okay, good for you. Hello, baby face. Well, what brings you to the Monotoli building? I'll look for Mr. Monotoli. This elevator is only for Master Pokey's used. Pokey? Master Pokey? Oh, Pokey! Oh, of course he's around again. Quit staring at my hips. But your hips don't lie. Are you a friend of Master Pokey? It's okay to visit him here, but don't wander around the building. Someone might be suspicious of you and take a pot shot at you with a machine gun. Jeebus! Whoops, I was almost gonna beat you up. Almost gonna beat me up? I'm gonna wander around anyway, fuck you. I have psychic. What the fuck are you doing here, kid? Get away from me, kid. Ooh la la! This, this is my poor old, old friend. Ah, uh, what's your name? Pig's butt? No, no, Ness! Didn't you come here to beg me for some money? Ooh la la! Don't you recognize me? I'm Master Pokey! Fuck you, Pokey. Pokey! Get it? No, I'm... Geladarg... Geldegard. Geldegard, Montoli's partner. Who names these people? I give him political and economic advice. You're a kid! Why is he getting his political and economic advice from a kid? You're a fucking kid, Pokey. I heard there was some ratty looking kids asking for Mr. Montoli. Is that you, Ness? This isn't a place for the likes of you, nor you! Get out of here, now, loser! Um, what the fuck, dude? No. Hey, you... You fucking asshole. Fuck you. Fuck you, Pokey. You must never show your face around Master Pokey. You got that? Fuck you! 
Fuck you. Uh-uh. No way. Come here. Ooh la la. Oh, we just get this again? Really? Pokey, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Pokey, you're a dick. You hear that, folks? Pokey is a dick. I mean, okay, I shouldn't be too surprised, but it still pisses me off. Ah. <sighs> You must never show your face around, Master Pokey. Well, fuck you too, dude. I don't know what the hell that beeping is? Uh, you haven't changed much, Ness. I'm Elsonius Minch, Minch, Pokey's dad. Oh, so it's not really Pokey doing the thing, it's his dad. Well, of course, Pokey's a little, well, a lying little shit, so. Due to my son's success, I now live the life of a rich man. <laughs> Does that mean when I go home you won't be there? That'll be awesome! Because fuck you guys! Every dog has its day. That's the perfect proverb to describe me. <laughs> my jaw is tired. Um... I don't wanna I don't wanna think about the implications of that statement, so I'm just gonna go I'll go around here. Uh Pokey's a dick. Private elevator, not for operation by the general public. Um I'm not the general public, I'm here to save the fucking world. Shut up beeping. I don't even know what that is. It's weird. Say the elevator's going down. Look, don't stand behind me and start my hips. But your hips don't lie. You know, I mean I mean Oh but you know, hey. Whatever. Uh, we're here. So we can't go in that elevator. We've, we've looked around here all we can. Hello, baby face. Okay, yeah, whatever. Yeah, fuck you. So Pokey is living in Foreside. And he's still a little dick. Boy stuck to the wall. Maybe a peeping Tom. Oh, God, really? Find this wall. Things seem very strange. I feel like this isn't my place. Maybe if it, maybe it's your place. Is that your sanctuary space then? Do 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 do. Um. How do we get over there? Hi. Protect Mr. Monotoli first. The safety of the citizens of the city comes second. That's our job, you know. <laughs> so this is basically run by by a guy. Okay, so this is... Wait, is this city run by the Earthbound equivalent of Do Donald Trump? Hmm. Dinosaur Museum. Let's check it out. Uh, okay, hi. Dinosaur Museum doesn't have any real dinosaurs. They're all replicas. I'm sure everyone knows that. If you still want to go see the dinosaurs, pay $5 a piece for the entrance fee. Eh, sure. An academic researcher inside. Ooh, he might be helpful. Or they. She, she, whatever. Now this, ooh, looks pretty cool. Huge! Not you, I'm talking about the dinosaur bones. Well, I don't know, I mean, I mean, not many animals go extinct before human beings discover them. I want to see a live dinosaur sometime in my life. Well, you know, I'll get a time machine for you. This museum should sell dinosaur t-shirts. Really? I understand why, but really do. <laughs> Uh, you're, you're standing on some guy's face to get your picture. Fuzzy nipples. What a great photograph. Ah, get off that guy's face. What the hell was that? So happy there are some visitors today. These days, few people come here. I'm Mr. Spoon, the academic researcher. I wonder if there are any famous stars here today. Dinosaurs. Huge, aren't they? Well, that's all I've gotten out of my research. You want to hear more? Tell you the truth, I heard the dinosaurs were found near the lower side of Scarab Scaraba, and then the, and there were lots of them. There are unconfirmed reports that the dinosaurs ate some of the natives there. If you go, please try to find the dinosaurs and bring back photographs. Please come back again to study, because I don't like being alone. Oh, so there are dinosaurs running around at pla around that that skull whatever place. Yeah, my short-term memory gave me gave me the bird finger. I still don't know why that beeping is happening. It doesn't seem to be part of the computer, it just seems to be part of the game. Not to those guys digging for the buried gold. If they found the gold, it'd be a huge, worth a huge amount of money. They'd be able to pay off a million dollar debt very easily. If 
Why are them? I'd go to Japan and live it up. <laughs> they still have the debt. In old days, Mr. Monotoli was just a regular, unattractive real estate agent. Now he has the power to control the police force. I don't think the city of Foresight is better than before. Well, you know, when you got Donald Trump at the controls. Bet in this town has a very plain, nondescript flavor to it. To tell you the truth, I'm the owner of this bakery. What the hell? Hey! I was thinking there's a f tight wad born every minute. Ah, pity the fool. <laughs> ah, hello, may I help you? What shall I get you? What do we have? Skip sandwich, lucky sandwiches, eh, nothing, nothing right now. Thank you, though. Mm. Whee! Hi! You're gonna try and beat me up. Well, lady, um, you know, being cranky doesn't mean you get to go and attack kids. Especially when the kids can beat the shit out of you. <laughs> uh, that's kind of horrible. It's kind of horrible that we can just beat up cranky old ladies. Yeah, you said it, game. Uh, I'd like to know what those beepings are about, though. Hi! You're, you're awfully anxious. Annoying... Wait, annoying reveler. The annoying reveler. Okay. He's wobbly. Oh, good. So he won't attack me. <laughs> okay. That works. Another one. Hey, dude. Oh, shit. I'm taking this guy from behind. Boom. And... Ness, how do you miss? Shoot him in the ass with a laser. There you go. Oh. There we go. We're done there. No. I see what you're trying to do, lady. Am I going in the right direction even? Yeah, just... Yeah. Oh, ow, ow! Motherfuck! Why do you get a double attack, you lady? Goddamn. Hey, a handbag strap! A handbag strap? Okay. Nothing down there. You know, let's see. Hmm. That, your sanctuary spot seems to be behind that department store. But the department store is currently closed. Hmm. Hey, buddy. Runaway 5 from Tucson seems very popular. Heard that all... That the Tupolo Theater is always full. Where is that, then? There it is. Do you want to buy a ticket? 30 bucks, please. Sure. Thanks a lot. Please have your tickets ready. Uh, don't I have a ticket? Um, show ticket. Here we go. Please hurry. The show will be starting any moment. And we get to take in a show. Awesome. Let's go. Ah, uh, do do do. No problem here. Quiet. Do 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 do. -do. When Ness arrives, the Runaway Five told me to let him in. So please come in. How do you know I'm Ness? Hey guys, nice to see you again. We know how to sing, but we don't know how to handle money or women. Do a uh, do do a. Uh. To meet Gail Garde Monatoli, you'll need our help. I don't exactly know why. It's just a hunch. Ah, again, we've been cheated by the theater owner. How do you do that? Stuck here with a phony contract. Oh, yeah. We're so helpless. Really helpless and hopeless. Yuck, yuck, yuck. This is not a laughing matter, sir. We owe you guys so much. Sorry. Huh. I see. So we get another show. Have I got a bombshell for you tonight, kids? Ah! Uh, kaboom! The Runaway Five! Yeah! Three, two, one, go! Uh oh.
<laughs> I like this. <laughs> you missed your. Oh! Missing your cues! <coughs> oh no! Ugh! Were they supposed to miss their cues? Times like this, you take the opportunity to drink some water. Ah. What are they doing? Oops. Okay, awesome. Um, okay, let's go back in and talk to them again. That was quick getting back here, boys. To meet the Geld Yeah, you'll need your help. I get it. Don't know how to handle money or women. Again, we've been cheated by the theater owner. Uh, okay, so nothing new there. Okay. It doesn't hurt. Wait, another one? Really? Um, did I just redo the song again? I think I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> okay, so, so I, okay, so these guys have been cheated again. How the fuck do they do that? Um, the department store is temporarily closed for some reason, and it looks like it has a year sanctuary spot in the back of it. So I think those things are connected. Pokey is running around here, you know. Oh, I'm so rich. How the hell did he do that? I think I think Pokey made a deal with Gyagas. I think that's it. Pokey is the vessel of Gyagas. Just you wait and see. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He realizes where he is. He forgets his blocking. Uh, and I beat up angry old ladies. I, I don't know if I should be proud of that. Ah, <laughs> uh, wow. Hooray! Are we done? Is that it? Can we, can we like, go on and talk to you? Vanessa arrives around if I've told me to let him in. Okay, yeah, um, yeah, shut up. Okay, it is part of the game, because it did not beep at all during, during those moments. So I don't know what it is. No problem here. Uh, I don't want to run into, I don't want to go in there again, lest I have to play through this again. So let's go this way. What's in here? Hi. Oh, hello. So y'all run away five fan, huh? What? Excuse me? No, no. This man owes me a million bucks. If they break the contract, they'll be in deep doo-doo with the police. The police would probably say, hey, you guys, or something like that. Unless you're able to pay a million dollars on their behalf, you'd have to find buried gold, or you'd never be able to pay such a huge sum of money. Ho, 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 that gold digger, literally, is... Oh, hi. Oh, hi. So, apparently, that gold digger is our key to getting these guys out of debt again. Okay. So, let's go back to the desert. As much as I don't want to. Uh, the desert is really fucking hot. <sighs> back to the desert, now that we've had some plot development. Dinosaurs are apparently south somewhere. Hi, how you doing? Relax. You know, this looks a lot more colorful than it did in Super Smash Bros. Melee. Less bridgy, too. Then again, you just fight on top of buildings and shit. It's a tunnel. Ooh. Walking down the highway. 
Back into the desert. Let's go. Let's try and go south. Okay. And we keep walking. Hey, what's this? A broken slot machine. But the Sanchez brothers are and their friend are a very cheerful trio. They will make you happy. Would you like to insert a buck? No, thank you. Big brother Pancho. Kid brother Pincho. I'm Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> what? Uh, why not? You know what? I could put a buck in there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Lemon, lemon. And lemon. Okay. We get lemons. Amigo, you won a very big jackpot. It's a big prize for you, amigo. A chick. What? We won a chick? What the fuck? Chick. A chick that just hatched. Okay, what about this chicken? Chicken. A real live chicken. Don't eat it, please. Um, handbag strap. Uh, when he uses a whip during battle, the enemy takes enough damage to stop moving for a short time. Gone after one use. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. I see what you're doing there. Okay, that's weird. Mm. No! No! Fuck! Alright, we're trying this again. Sorry about that, folks. Desert. Ah. Uh, just when you think the computer is fine. But apparently not. Although, I think that beeping may have something to do with it. Not sure what, though. We'll figure it out somehow. Hey. Oh, hey. So the buses are now cleared out. Okay, that's one good thing, I suppose. Um. Uh oh. Somebody got sunstroked. Fuck. Paula. What the fuck? Why do you get sunstroke? But apparently, I don't get sunstroke on the road. It's just in the desert itself. Can I do this? No. Of course, a town map only works in town. Go figure. Um. Hmm? No problem here. It says. Um. Back to the slot machine. Uh, sure. Uh, let's insert a buck. Let's see what we get. Do I get more lemons? Do I get sevens? Seven. Lemon. What? Okay, never mind. I'm not gonna worry about it. I got a chick, man. Does that make me a chick magnet? Ugh. Oh. Oh, that just comes back around here. Never mind. Hey, hey you, come here. Magic butterfly made us relax. Yay! East to Foreside. Yay! So Foreside is over there. Buffalo! What the hell? Oh shit! Is that dinosaur? Is that dinosaur? Crested Buka. Okay, I'm just gonna set you all on fire. Yes, I'm in the desert. Ow! Only f oh wow! Fire did not do well against this thing. Big grin on his face, huh? Yeah, well, I got a big grin on mine. <laughs> yeah, the Crestabuka was defeated. Ooh. Bag of fries. I got a bag of fries. Bag of fries. Bag of fries. Got myself a bag of fries. Bag of fries. Bag of fries. Oh, hell no. What the fuck? Oh, shit. The desert wolf and its cohort. Um. You know what? I'm just gonna script him. And freeze the wolf. And shoot the buffalo. Ooh, <laughs> Goodbye. Kaboom. Ow! Oh 
Oh shit. God damn, Ness is almost dead. Um huh. Yeah, oh, oh, his maximum HP went up by one. Yeah, we're gonna heal that right now. Um I think I meant life up. Oops. That works better. Oh, oh hey! We got these little shits. Okay. Bash the Buka. Set the buffalo on fire. And shoot the Buka with a laser. God damn it, Ness! Knitted its brow? Ow! Tore into me. Oh shit. Bye bye, that buffalo. What? Okay. Still don't know what that beeping has been. Alright. Let's head back to Foresight, I guess. You know, maybe regroup a little bit. Talk to some more people and find out what the fuck we need to do. And where we need to go and what the fuck that beeping is. Yeah. I hope it's not my computer trying to tell me, Hey, you're running out of space, you asshole. Which I shouldn't be. Because I have plenty of space. Ah. Alright, what's over here? Hmm. The music is kind of nice. Hmm. All the way up here? Nothing? Not even, not even crazy ladies who want to beat the shit out of me for no apparent reason other than... Wearing a baseball cap? Hey, a wall. Another wall. We found walls. Hey, how you doing? No one know anything. Grr. Montatoli's toady stole me. Stole everything from me, including my house and land. <laughs> They're evil incarnate. Lawyers, policemen, everyone that follows Montatoli. They're all his toadies. No matter how you fight them, you can't win. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Just leave me here to cry my cappuccino. Nosy. Oh. So he is Donald Trump. <laughs> Hospital? Okay. What's up over here? Nothing there. Okay. Hey. What are you? I'm very punctual about time and careful with money. I don't look like it, though. I want to avoid you for right now. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Come on in. We've got the goods, G. What are you looking for? Ooh. Broken gadget. Iron. Broken iron. Fence spray, rust promoter. Hmm. Broken iron. Most unfortunately for you, you can't. Oh, god damn it. Jeff! Uh, you know what? Just eat it. That's not bad. We got the goods. G, what you looking for? Give me a broken iron. Hey guys, who's gonna carry this? He is. Thanks a lot, bro. Alright. Next time Jeff sleeps, maybe he'll fix it for something. Huh. There's this way down into the sewers. Monotoli building. And he's got the department store closed. Ooh. Protect Mr. Monotoli first. Again, like I've said, and I'll keep saying it until I'm, until I'm blue like that guy, this is definitely run by Donald Trump. He just changed his name to Monotoli. But in the meantime, let's get to the hotel. Where's the hotel at? Over there. Topola! So we know those guys are in trouble again. Probably won't be able to do much with them until after I've taken out Monotoli. So let's go to the hotel. Ah. One night stay. Let's see if Jeff fixes his thing. Yep. The slime generator. Okay. That's not too bad. Ugh. <sighs> 
And of course, be saving. Oh wow, Paul's gonna level up in the next battle. That's nice. Actually I am, but I'm not gonna do it like you do. So yeah, fuck you. Ba -doo -doo. All right, so that is it for this time. Oh wow, we've made it to four side, went through the desert. I had to survive sunstroke a couple of times, but you know, that's fine. That's just the way things go sometimes, you know? You you go through and, and even the computer suffered sunstroke apparently at one point. And I don't know what that beeping is, so I'm gonna figure that out. Um. So, at any rate, thank you guys for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're enjoying this series uh, and much more to come, I hope. Um, <laughs> uh, if, you like, if you're liking this or any video that I do, you, know, you can do the usual. You can hit the like button. You can share it. You can subscribe to me. Whatever. Uh, leave a comment. Constructive criticism is always welcome. And trust me, I could really use it because I, I feel like I can improve. And I would like to know which way to improve best. Do I need more energy? Do I need this? Do I need less of this? Do I need more of this? I don't know. I'm, and I'm only taking shots in the dark unless you guys let me know, you know? So, um, so I kind of need that. Um, and plus, if you have no criticism, it's it, you're, you're like stagnant water and it tastes horrible. Um, don't take my word for it though. Mm. Actually, do take my word for it. Don't don't drink stagnant water. Just don't do it. It's, it's nasty. Ah! And even though she does not do the title card artwork for this particular series, my girlfriend Becky Hopkins does do title card artwork. Uh, she also does animations. She does a comic. In fact, her comic, Otherworldly, the link is down in the doobly-doo, updates every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, usually. Sometimes life gets in the way she gets a little behind, but that happens to everybody. Um, but you can check that out. The link is in the doobly-doo. And if you want to check out her other stuff, head to becky-hopkins.com and check out all of her nice and nifty things. And if you want to help either one of us monetarily, uh, if you want to help me monetarily, um, you can go to patreon.com slash gomer 21 double x Money there goes towards things like upgraded equipment, new games for like the Steam series, all of that really good stuff. And, and of course, she also has one, uh, patreon.com slash beckyhop. Where you can go, you can commission stuff for her and help her get her webcomic a little bit more up off the ground and where it, and what it already is. People do seem to like it. Now we just want people to throw money at her to make it better. <laughs> that would be awesome. Oh, shut up, Beepy. So at any rate, um, with all of that said, once again, thank you guys for watching. I, I, I really do appreciate doing this. Being, well, appreciate being able to do this for you, and I do appreciate every one of you watching. Um, and I've, I've said it before, I haven't, I haven't said it much in the past few Earthmap videos, but I am really glad I got into this game. Um, and I am where I am now. I, I'm really glad for it. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, yeah, and, and, yeah, third time's a charm. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off.